this is a gamble. Getting to Utah, completely across the country with this Jeep. I'm a bit sad. It seems like life is just always changing. And I've been with people I love for months now and I have to go out on my own again. I just got a 10 minute oil change. They checked all my fluids, made sure my air, tire air pressure was good. They replaced one of the little gasket top things because it was leaking a little bit of oil. So we're all good with fluids. I'm gonna go and get some snacks for the drive in Ingalls. <sighs> the troubles start already. Oh, I've had the most stressful morning. Got the oil changed. And I noticed before that there was like a slight little leak, like on the ground, there's a couple dots whenever I had parked and it didn't, I hadn't done that before. It does have a tiny little oil leak or whatever. And then I parked and I got groceries and I'm, I noticed like rainbow um, water flowing down from my vehicle. And I'm like, uh. so, but then I drove to the gym because I thought maybe there's, it was a little bit of oil just falling off from the oil change. And then I parked at the gym and then there's more just like, gushing. It's still doing it. I'm very stressed. You guys know I get very paranoid and stressed about things and this Jeep is, you know, 260,000 miles. So I, I drove it all the way back, like seven miles back to the place that I got the oil change. And I'm like, hey, it looked like there was like oil like leaking from it. So can you make sure everything's tightened properly? So they looked over everything again. They said everything's tightened. The oil levels are fine. Transmission fluid, everything's okay. He said it's possible that it you know, the transmission pan could be going out or something like that. But he said it's still safe to drive, like you can still drive it. Because we all know what that means for our little Yuki. That means if that went out, she's dead. She's not, I'm not paying $3,000 to replace the transmission. This is a gamble. Getting to Utah, completely across the country with this Jeep. And I, I just feel high stress right now. They said that not, the oil's not leaking. Um, it just, I, maybe it's just a little dirty and it's just dropping. It makes it look like a lot because it's raining and it, the rain is on the parking lot is flowing downwards. So it looks like, like a lot of oil, but maybe just a dot of oil in the puddles. I can't tell. I have to go. Um, my apartment I moved out of is up that I was living in. My sister left, she went to Utah. She's working on like a llama farm or something over there. Um, my siblings are, we're all dispersing now and I, I don't have anywhere to live and I booked an Airbnb. We're driving to the other side of Tennessee. We're in North Carolina right now. And that's where I'm trying to get to today. It's about five or six hours away. So I figured I would go and stretch for a little bit at the gym one last time because I'm gonna be sitting for a long time driving. I'm not gonna use the air conditioner probably on this route at all. Hopefully it doesn't get too hot because that's gonna put more pressure on the motor. Can this Jeep now as the mission make it to Utah? She's all I have. Of course, just in an overwhelmed moment, the sun will shine again, I hope. We're here, so we're kind of close to Nashville, but on the farm, I don't remember it's called, Star Something Farm, and this is my A-frame. Lucky number 13. Here we are, cute. Look at this. <laughs> so 
have a place to sleep tonight <laughs> and uh, store my eggs. They're so cute. That's so many bed just for me. <sighs> There's definitely a bird's nest up here. feels nice, even though it's kind of sprinkling rain. After being driving for so long. It's kind of weird to do this type of stuff by yourself. But this was $64. That's right, only $64 for a night. So it's not bad, it's way less than a hotel. It is raining. It has been raining the entire day. I brought with me some vegetarian Ramen Express. I just grabbed at the store and bananas, prunes, and boiled eggs. It's my diet for the day. So I think I'll just make this somehow. Oh, let's, uh, I wonder if I could heat water in there somehow. I'll just take this thing out. Starbucks caramel Keurig. Fill the rest with normal water. There's something nice about doing things by yourself like this, where it's kind of just like, hey you, hey. Mmm, warm. <laughs> so tomorrow I'm not gonna be as luxurious. Tomorrow I'm probably going to sleep at a rest stop. Just I just wanna see how far I can drive. It's really peaceful being here by myself. I don't know, I love being around certain people and I love being alone sometimes. Whenever I'm alone, sometimes I just feel like more me because I don't like talk. Like when I'm just quiet, that's when I feel the most me. And it's strange having to rely so heavily on something, Yuki, which is quite unreliable because of the high mileage nature. I know I keep talking about that, but it's just really concerning, especially because they brought up the transmission. I just kind of have to have blind faith in, well, isn't this life though? You have blind faith in everything. You never know when something's going to stop working or when something will work better than you ever thought that it would. I'm gonna put on sunblock. I'm driving so much, even though the sun is not, the sun is finally coming out for the first time that I've seen it in days. My plan of action is to get uh, hotel or Airbnbs every other day maybe, just so I don't wear myself out too bad. So tonight that means that I'll have to either stay at a campsite or a rest stop. Most likely a rest stop because I don't wanna drive around off course looking for a campsite. My main thing is to keep on course as much as possible because I don't wanna risk the extra miles. I actually slept quite well last night. Um, I had my nice big bed, and even though the birds were quite loud, they settled down at nighttime. It was very peaceful. I knew no one was gonna come bother me. That's one thing about staying in a place like this versus you know in cities and stuff. It just feels safer. It feels more clean and natural. You wake up to the birds and it's wonderful. I don't have any other Airbnbs booked or anything for this trip, so I don't know what I'm gonna do for my next accommodations, but for now I'm pretty much homeless, or not homeless, living in my car officially, because I have nothing booked. I have nothing booked in Utah. I, I was thinking about that. I'm like, I should probably have a place to stay once I get there. I didn't think about that far ahead. I think we should try this coffee in here. Now, my diet is a bit different these days. I don't really drink coffee anymore. Um, and I definitely don't drink caramel flavored Starbucks coffee, but I've never used one of these before. So it looks quite interesting. And I'm curious, and life is about the experience. Okay. 
These birds are ridiculous. Oh, there's, I also found like a tons of little bugs on my tripod. I don't know what kind of bugs they are. Like tiny, tiny, tiny ones. I got this, this is like kind of like a viral dress or something from TikTok. Not very practical, but I want to try it on for you to show you how feminine I can really be. <laughs> you ready for the reveal? Da, 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 feminine. <laughs> I don't know where I'm gonna wear this at, but this is my feminine dress. I was gonna wear it as a driving dress, but I, I just, I don't want to garner too much male attention from such a feminine dress. And we sleep in rest stops, so I have to look a bit dumpy. <laughs> the birds love it. That's enough playing around. We gotta get we gotta get we gotta get going. It's been a nice day. It's been really nice. $64, you get all the essentials, even Starbucks coffee, which to confirm, I always hate. I hate, I hate all Starbucks coffee. It tastes burnt and disgusting, so I didn't finish that. But there's mites in here. There's mites everywhere. I think that's what they are. And I don't like them crawling on me. I don't mind bugs, but when there's like a billion tiny of them crawling over your hands when you're trying to eat a banana. No bueno. Let's see, we're gonna move our way into probably Illinois and Missouri today. These people are right behind me, the frisbee throwing guy and this guy and the dog and I can't pull out. Come on, let me go. We're in Kentucky now, so hello Kentucky. I used to live in Indiana. I've been out in this area so much. I want to get out of here. I don't want to be here. Um, it's just not my chosen area. So I'm currently, I stopped along this way, it was only like 12 minutes out of the way. Found this beautiful waterfall. I figured it would be good to get in some nature and stuff because driving on the highway for hours and hours and hours just doesn't feel natural. Hopefully I'll find a nice rest stop to sleep at tonight. I want to like do a little hike so I can get some energy out so I'd be able to actually sleep in my car tonight. We'll see. I'm stressed sweating. I was on a highway and I heard a lot on my top and sometimes I hear every now and again when the wind gets underneath the tire but it was doing it a lot and I'm like if this falls off if this flies off my Jeep right now it's gonna kill somebody multiple people probably so I was just like Aah! so I'm gonna go look and see what the situation is up there I don't know it seems secure there's so many things that could go wrong and I keep thinking about all of them God, I'm tired of driving and it looks like it keeps seeming like the time of um, to get to Utah just keeps going up and up and up and I don't know why. I don't think it does, but it just seems like I'm getting nowhere. I still have 21 hours left. This rest area is very nice. You couldn't pay for a better rest area. I think this is where I'm going to sleep tonight. Enter off the highway for supper. I'll show you what we're having. Got more boiled eggs. Surprise, surprise. But I wanted to spice them up a little bit. Put some pickles with them. And I also got a protein bar that I already ate. I'm very proud of you so far. She's done amazing. And we're still in Illinois. I was hoping to get to um, Missouri today. We're very close. We're like right outside of St. Louis right now. Yeah, it's a bit early to go to sleep and I don't have any internet. bit down. I've put up my curtains and everything. People pass by and there's a little corner where they can see in. Gosh, so awkward. It's so awkward. Stealth camping. Like a spy. But what's really nice about this area is these things right here. Their emergency box stations. It's just quivered here silently. Still, the camping's the worst. I, I don't like it. 
I'm not a stealth camper. I like camping like in the woods where you're allowed to just be ASMR, sleeping in the car, ASMR. Oh, I don't want to have too much of a light here, but I need to refill my water. So I'm gonna refill it with this. Have my fan on to have some aeration. I have the windows cracked and the fan on. So we can aerate the space. It's very comfortable in here, actually. I really like it. I don't know what's going on out there, and I don't want to. Good morning, the rest stop is pretty much online. Oh, I did not sleep well, but I didn't expect myself to sleep well. I was worried the whole night that I was going to like get in trouble for staying here overnight because I read Illinois has a limit at rest stops. The limit is three hours is the maximum time. Each state is different. Most of them let you stay 24 seven and I don't think a lot of them would get you in trouble, but I was just paranoid because I read that. I was able to, and then my other fear was just, I don't know, someone coming in and murdering me. Um, you always have that fear in the back of your head as a woman, but especially when you're solo out in the middle of nowhere, uh, sleeping in a vehicle. I made myself last night's overnight oats, <laughs> so fancy. I have packets of oatmeal, so I just, oatmeal is better when you soak it. Also, I don't have a way to cook it, so we'll eat this later. Oh, it looks so good. Hey. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Get a little more busy here, so it's time for me to go. Next stop, <clears throat> Kansas City. So I'm gonna try to make it to Kansas City tonight. I booked a cheap hotel there because I need to get my editing done and there's so much stuff I have to catch up on with work because I've been out here like, this is day three. I think I may, I think I may need to take a nap today. I can't check into my hotel until three anyways, so. I clunked out for like an hour or more. I don't know where I am. I'm so tired, or I was so tired. Usually I can't sleep like that, but I didn't sleep last night, so. At this random rest stop, and I just I couldn't go anymore. I had to sleep. <laughs> Put all my stuff up. It's really hot in here. I didn't even have the energy to put my fan on. I just I didn't even pull my bed out. I just fell asleep. Hour and a half until the hotel. I'm gonna get some food because I'm quite hungry too. Oh, this is tough business, man. There's no idea to answer to at all. Like, it's just a vulnerable thing to sleep in your vehicle. We made it. We made it to Kansas City, Missouri. Very close to Kansas, I presume. I don't know what I'm gonna do tomorrow. I don't know where I'm gonna stay. I don't wanna think about it. It's taking everything in me to just stay sat there. I feel like my butt is just flat at this point because it's just, I don't know how people do it. I don't know how truck drivers do it, but. Got a hotel tonight because I need to edit and do some internet stuff. It's budget. It's very. It's the most budget I could find. Uh, it's a motel, actually. I haven't even booked anything for Utah yet. Like I have no actual address destination I'm going to. Thank you so much for coming with me. Uh, it's been a little lonely, but I actually kind of like it. It's kind of just like a different reality, kind of how airports are. It's just like a watching of the passing of reality. You know, it's it's weird living on the road for the past, whatever. That's what my past four days anyways. Thank you so much for joining me. Stick to terrestrial, stay tuned for what happens next. We have a long ways to go still, and we'll figure it out together. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.